Hey Cancer, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for your current energy, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And we have Judgment at the bottom of the deck. I feel like right now you could be thinking about making some sort of judgment call, some kind of decision when it comes to a situation that has recently... Um, I kind of feel like it has been taking a lot out of you, whether it's a personal relationship situation or a career. I just kind of feel like there is this moment of clarity that you've had recently that is now really inspiring you to make some sort of decision because it kind of feels like in the recent past, maybe before this epiphany came or this clarity, it's like you were unsure of how to handle things or you were unsure of what to do next, but it kind of feels like right now you have this sense of, okay, I think I know what to do. So that should bring a lot of relief and right behind the judgment is the emperor which is aries maybe some of you have aries placements maybe you're connecting to an aries but it kind of feels like there is this energy of wanting to really take control and ownership um, of your life at this time so we have the ace of swords nine of swords knight of cups and the seven of wands i feel like with the knight of cups and the seven of wands there is an energy of you needing to protect yourself or needing to feel empowered to stand up for yourself. Maybe this is about you finally choosing to do something that you have always, you know, or that you have thought about doing for a while now, even though maybe you don't have the support or, you know, the encouragement from another person. It just kind of feels like you don't need that from anyone else. You have enough of it from yourself. So I feel like with this nine of swords, maybe there, there are some concerns and some worries but I think that most of that is coming from the idea of not doing something that you want to do. Kind of like the universe is saying, don't allow yourself to wonder what if. Just go for it and see what happens because in the long run, you're going to feel better that you gave something a try as opposed to always wondering, you know, what if I would have done that? What if I would have acted on this moment of clarity and chosen to go along the path that was resonating with me at the time? And I feel like that Seven of Wands could also speak to the fact that because we are ending July, maybe this is something that was building over time, but now we're finally getting ready to, you know, kind of move forward in a different direction. Maybe the month of July was exactly what you needed, you know, in order to kind of get to this mindset. And now with, you know, August, it's kind of like things are going to change for sure because you took the time that you needed to really understand something. Let's go ahead and clarify the Ace of Swords. And we have the strength. So, you know, we are in Leo season. Maybe some of you have Leo placements, but I definitely feel like this is speaking to the fact that you are for sure, you know, ready to take some sort of action. This is proving it because you're showing courage. You're showing bravery. You're showing that strength from within. And it is that internal strength and that internal motivation that is really allowing you to kind of move forward with this and not feel afraid and not judge and not doubt yourself. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like whatever it is that you have on your mind right now, whatever it is that you have set to do, I feel like you will accomplish it and you will do it um, in a you know such an effortless way. I feel like that Wheel of Fortune confirms that something that you are going to give a try is going to end up having very long-term benefits. Um, so definitely feels like this is the reassurance that maybe some of you were looking for. I honestly feel, Cancer, that whatever it is that you're trying to do, it is going to put you in this place of abundance. I feel like for a lot of you, maybe your focus is financial stability. I think if this is an action that you are doing towards that, you're going to be happy with the results. Let's go ahead and clarify this Nine of uh, Swords. Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's been a long road. You know, I feel like there has been some sort of journey here that you've had to kind of go through before finally accepting or realizing that this is something you need to do. We have the Temperance, which is Sagittarius, Six of Cups, and the Three of Swords. I feel like that Three of Swords could also speak to the fact that maybe you recently went through some sort of separation, a breakup, maybe some sort of third party um, situation. But I feel like this was, you know, maybe the beginning of your new chapter and you saw it as the ending of a chapter. Almost like the universe is saying, Cancer, that thing that you thought that was going to break you, that ended the way that it did, it was actually happening for you to have this new start for yourself. So I definitely feel like there's something here about you needing to really look at a situation from the past in a different light because it's now showing up as divine intervention. 
And I feel like divine intervention is not something that we understand until a lot of time has passed and we look back and we're like, oh yeah, that was divine intervention. I feel like the universe wants you to see it now, right? It's almost like spirit doesn't want you to wait until way later for you to notice that this is something that is positive, even though it looks negative on the surface. Right behind the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. So all of this is for your highest good. And I feel like the Eight of Pentacles could also confirm that you are working very hard towards overcoming something. And that says a lot, right? You have not given up um, even when you thought you, even when you thought you did, you didn't give up. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the Knight of Cups. Right, and we have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck yeah i feel like right now a lot of you could still be kind of processing something and maybe you're still in that state of mind of thinking that you have lost something but i feel like that's going to change very soon we have the seven of pentacles nine of cups three of cups and the nine of pentacles i also feel like your surroundings and the people that you are connecting to at this time could be a huge impact or could have a huge impact on how you see your situation i feel like you're going to be surrounded by positive like-minded individuals and that's going to help you see things differently so to me the seven of pentacles is this shift in your perspective in different areas in your life and i feel like with that nine of cups and that nine of pentacles this is just full blown self-love, self-efficacy, self-esteem, self, um, you know, it, I feel like you are connecting to your higher self through this situation. And I feel like that nine of cups and that nine of pentacles, it shows that not only are you going to be abundant emotionally and mentally and spiritually, but also financially and tangibly, right? Like all of these things that you're working towards, it is not just a spiritual journey. You are working towards a goal and there are tangible benefits that you're going to receive. So it's going to be like this beautiful marriage of, you know, this almost perfect balance. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.